and welcome to Go Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, Tuesday the 22nd of November. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to, to take you around what's happening in the markets right now okay, and give you a couple of things that we're looking at. So let's look at what's come across the news today. Of course, US equities closed low in another choppy session. A shortened week this week, obviously, due to Thanksgiving Day and a half day on Black Friday. The major narrative across the wires is really concerns rising about the COVID situation in China. We've seen increased incidents in cases and something to keep an eye on, without a doubt. Uh, US futures have turned mildly positive in Asia after a neutral start and Asian indices are mixed despite that weaker US lead. The ASX is outperforming, it's up around 0.6% and European equity futures are suggesting a cautious but slightly higher open at this stage. US dollar index has moved higher from those three month lows. It tested uh, three trading sessions ago, but it is neutral in Asia today. And gold on that USD strength has retraced below the 200 EMA to around about the 1750 level. Remember, it was up near 1800 a few days ago. Oil was very choppy overnight, it tested five week lows before bouncing higher during the session. And copper's higher in Asia, although again was weak last night and has had a six day slide. The VIX index has tested early September lows and looks as though markets are relatively calm if we take that as a gauge. So that's encouraging in terms of where we are right now. Whether there's enough momentum to push us higher from here remains to be seen, of course. But some of the data keeps on coming in to suggest we have hit peak inflation. Bitcoin and the crypto space continue to look very, very precarious. We saw Bitcoin test lows at 15,600. As they continue to sell off, it is mildly higher in Asia today, but that could just be profit taken on what again has been a fairly significant drop over the last 48 hours. Very little data out today of significance. We've got the RBA Governor low speech pending and Canadian retail sales later, but it really is the camp before the storm. We've got a massive day tomorrow in light of thanksgiving day so everything's been pushed to the one day to release the information we've got the fomc minutes we've got global pmi data across the board we've got us consumer inflation expectations and us weekly jobs so a very big day tomorrow expect some significant market moves as they process that information a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning i'm going to start with tpw this was a chart of the day we put out a couple of days ago as a potential break of five dollars we liked it at this level and thought it might get back into this range as you can see it's done that in today's session that shift up to 520 looks impressive uh, and upside on this is potentially around about 13 or 14 percent if we move back to this high that is at the top of the range that we saw in early november in early october and in early September. So appears to be a pattern here that the market likes. Despite this retracement here, we have got it looking quite strong. On the FX front, the GB pound Aussie looks interesting. Here's the four hour chart. So essentially what we got was a break through this level around about 178.32. And we're now sort of stuck at around about 178.80. If we just look at the hourly chart, you'll see this in a little more detail. We're just going to push this up to that 79 level. One of those nice round numbers that we talk about often. Should we break this on the longer term time frame? There is a potential that we move up to 180. But more realistically, in the short term is possibly around about 179.60, 179.65, possibly as a short term target on this. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.